It's a nice day out, Wednesday, summer day in, in America. Wines roses are growing pretty strong. Nice blue sky. I have a really good light today. And this is for all my friends who are not in America on YouTube. If you're in America, this will be boring. But if you're not in America, this may be interesting. Now, in, in different countries, they take stereo systems and they put them on bikes. Well, they don't do it a lot here. And I, I'm not going to do that. What I am going to do is I'm going to put a stereo in my little truck. And I want to show you the things I bought for it. And I will, I'm not sure what's exactly here. And we'll open them up and look at them. This is a company called Crutchfields. In America, like I said, if you're not from America, it's a very good um, car stereo electronics place because they offer uh, statistics and manuals and everything you can really compare what they sell to what you need. And they have the latest stuff if that's what you want. Now, I don't want the latest stuff. All I want is to have good, full, crisp, clean sound in my truck that kind of envelops me, or like an envelope. So let's see what they have. Now this is, I hate this shit. This is dreaded crap. It's called popcorn. So once you open your box, this stuff falls on the ground and gets every, in every place. Why do they need 10,000? So let's see what's in here. I have no idea. Well, something's emerging. I'll put that right there. This is one of the amps I bought. It's a Kenwood amp, and I'm not sure. Whoops, I can't get my hand out of here. Which amp is better or not? What this is, and what I'm going to use it for, is this has four channels. Or three or two, can if you want to be real technical about it, that's way too technical for, for me. Four channels means four speakers. Two speakers in the front, a left and a right, and two speakers in the back, a left and a right. And it uh, it's like 60 watts per, per um, a channel, uh, speaker, so that's good. Now, this is my base setup. I've always wanted one of these ever since they came out, but I've never had one. This is what's called a bazooka tube, and this fits behind the truck seat. And I guess the air travels in through the, here, goes all along here, and it gets blasted out right there. Of course, I'm going to fine tune this uh, bazooka tube. And what I will do is blueprint it. This is the way it works. It, it, I guess uh, air or sound goes out here and out through the here somehow. Well, that's that's nice. Okay. Let's try to do this with one hand. Here, you look at the bike while I'm trying to move this around. And I drop my knife and everything else. Okay, here's the other box. I have four, four or five other boxes coming in from this place because I decided to do it right. The speakers that I put in were Boston Acoustics 20 years ago into my truck. They were made in America and they're very expensive. I also put in Alpine, Alpine amps, which were about $350 at the time. They were made in Japan and they were beautiful. Now they're made in China and you can get them for $39.95. And before, Alpines used to be put in Lamborghini Countach's. Now Alpines are put in Ford Pinos. So that tells you how low Alpine has really sunk. It used to be the, the, top of the top of the line. Okay, now here's a Kenwood radio something or other. I decided to go with Kenwood mainly because, well, they all look about the same anymore. Now what, what gets me upset about 
these stereos is that I don't need HD radio. I don't need Pandora, whatever that is. I don't need Sirius, whatever that is. I don't need Bluetooth. Do USB, that's kind of cool, whatever it is. I haven't fucking clue what it is. All I want is a CD player with a knob that you can turn it up, up and down, and maybe a clock. Is that so much to ask? I don't want the rest of this crap. When we have iPod, iPhone, I don't even own a phone. Works with Pandora. That's nice. What the fuck is Pandora? Aha, uh -huh. don't know. Heart radio, Bluetooth. Bluetooth is some kind of a deal you stick in your ear, I think. Sirius radio is where they, they cuss all the time on it. And, which is okay, but it gets boring after about the first two to three minutes. Front and rear USB connectors, I could use that for something. Sound excellence, but you notice it doesn't say a damn thing about music. So, we'll go to the next video.